What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. And this time we're going to look at some of the models that are available at Monster Hobbies right now. The first one being Oily's Garage, the Three Stooges model tea kit. So let's go over and take a look at What's in the Box. Alright, so here we are. Now this is a duplicate model that I got for a display I'm building for the Museum of the Highwood. This is for Silent Movie Nights. Now I know the Three Stooges were after the Silent Movie era, more in the 30s. I think they started in 34, if I remember right. I got the collection at home. But at any rate, this is still an interesting kit. It shows, like, sort of like the Laurel and Hardy, shows scenes out of the movie on the side here. Then it's got all these crazy comments on the side, like, Hey, wise guy, choose over a hundred parts for stock and custom variations. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. You know, this sort of thing. So there's the, the tall boy tee you can build. They give you a garage in here, too. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you know. Hey, what's the big idea? You know, this sort of thing. Uh, you can also build it as a street rod. And there's your Turtleback Model T, which is uh, fairly familiar with all these. And then on the back, they show you the other bits. There's all the parts that come in it. And they also show you the decal. So I'm going to open this one up. Because I did get it for me, after all. What's in the box? Nyuck, nyuck. Plastics off, yeah. Open oily, closed oily. Oily's garage. Ah, oh, boy. AMT really put the box lids on. Okay. Well, there's the chrome tree. That's for all the street rod parts. In fact, everything on here is for the street rod. But it's neat to see they still include that. And like in previous videos, there's the tall tea glass, as well as the regular model tea glass. This is my Carrera track here. <laughs> in case you're wondering. There's all the wheels and tires. So it looks like they give you the old the regular Model T wheels are in there, but it, they give you the old uh, common Firestone tires. Actually, the tread looks pretty new on these. No, they're the same. Well, no, maybe they're retooled or something. Oops, sorry. Ah, uh, the kit is molded in black again, just like the three, uh, the Laurel and Hardy. So if you don't want to paint, you don't have to, but you should anyway because it just looks better. There's all your typical Model T parts and the street red parts. Oh, they even give you the old barrel. Right there. With the street rod. That's pretty good. And the bottom of the car. And the old turtle deck. Got 20 of them. The hot rod fenders. It's kind of neat to see it in black. Sorry. <laughs> Getting too close to the camera. Okay, now here's the real part that we wanted to see. The decal sheet, which you can't see. I'll open that in a minute. <clears throat> and the extras. This is the garage. Oily's garage. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. And the parts for it. There's the three stooges there. Too bad they didn't make these as figures that you could paint up, though. That would have been nice. Mm, 
instructions. Oh, that would be the roof or something for the garage. Oh yeah, they give you the big Lincoln engine tear down and larger engine, stock engine, stock frame. Stock pickup or stock roadster coupe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's zoom out. There we go. Okay. Must have been a knucklehead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's the drop frame there for your hot rod. And then there's all the bits for the coupe. It's nice to see the, the keg back in action. It's one of those ones that disappeared. So this is kind of similar to the Model T I had in 85. 1985, previous release. And there it is with the tall T body going on. With all the hot rod bits. And of course bicycle fenders. And how to build the garage, which is very, very simplistic. <clears throat> yeah. Now, let's take a look at see what the decals look like. I said decal, not decal, like in the States. <laughs> anyway. Decal. Look at that decal. All right, anyway. Oh, it's all molded in white. Well, of course, because it's black, right? Model T. So, it's interesting. I know you can't really see this too well. Maybe... Can I do this? Nope. Okay, well, I'll just read out what it says here. <laughs> General handiwork, our specialty. Uh, we'll squelch it, squeak and nothing flat. Now, it's interesting. There, If you watch a lot of the Three Stooges videos, or well, movies, however, shorts, whatever they were called, you'll note that there's a whole bunch of stuff on here from that. So there's Pip-Boy cleaners, when they were actually uh, pressing suits and burning them with the iron. Oily's Garage, I don't ever remember seeing that episode. No burpaline, that was like one of the gas additives. The only gasoline containing bar bicarbonate of soda. Dr. Belcher's compound for gas on the stomach. Then there's the Onion Oil Company. In Onion, there is strength. So these are all different things, but this Pip Boys Cleaners. If you get one of the panel vans, you could actually, the Model T panel van, you could put that on the side of the Model T panel van. And then that way you would have like two different Model Ts that are part of that uh, Three Stooges world. So interesting stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> that is Oily's Garage Kit, Three Stooges Model T. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. And uh, you can pick it up. I've got one left on our shelves right now. So come on down and grab it. And then pay for it, of course. Nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, this is one that's definitely going to end up in the uh, Museum of the Highwood display when I get that done. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a 4x2 table in a showcase, and I'm going to try to reproduce some of the High River buildings, like a facade, you know, one edge, front face. But anyway, check it out, and we'll see you again.